Happy New Year, guys. Hopefully your year has gotten off to an awesome start. Listen, this video was filmed in December. It's another one of the properties that I actually visited that I did not show you guys. I definitely want you to see it because this is one that is going to be um, a potential game changer. It's not perfect, but a potential game changer. Anyway, I do have an update, so make sure you watch all the way to the end so that you can get the update um, as to how everything is coming with me actually finding a home for the 2022-2023 school year. All right, good morning, guys. I am headed to meet someone i'm actually really really excited i'm trying not to get my hopes up but if this works out it could be like huge for my organization and basically it's a partnership um or we're we're trying to see whether or not we can form this partnership actually with local government um and i'm like i can't reveal too much um because like I said, first we kind of have to see about the inner workings of everything, but um, there's a building that belongs to local um, government and I am going to see it now. Um, so I will be looking at it. I'm going to talk a little bit more with uh, my connection about what her vision is and she really has the ear of the person, people who can make this happen. So um, I'm nervous. Obviously I have a little anxiety going on, um, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited for what this can mean for my organization as far as really scaling. Um, I've re really been working hard on my business model. And once it's done, I will definitely reveal it to you guys. Um, so yeah, let's go look at this building. Okay, so I did preface this by saying that um, it is not perfect. Uh, it is a smaller building and that's an itty bitty room. Um, I think we were kind of talking about like that being almost like a little cafe area, um, like a lounge area, transition or what have you. It could be potentially a, a, a learning space as well, just depending on how many um, students I actually um enroll next um we went over to the restroom area so it has like a, a male female restroom with about two stalls on either side um, but that's pretty much it the room that we are about to enter now is the biggest space that is in here and as you can see it's pretty large um, now, this space would be more of a, a general usage because if we are able to use this space, um, there will be an after school program that will benefit from using that particular space during the after school hours, which once again, I'm not opposed to. If this comes with the right price or no price, <laughs> that would be awesome. Now, this is the room that um, I would be able to have specifically for myself. Now, remember, I will be able to use the whole building during the day without anybody else being there except starting around maybe 2, 2.30. Okay, so not perfect, but once again, just with the right conditions, it's going to be awesome. And so the update, I actually kind of have uh, nothing finalized, but definitely an update on both properties. So to kind of catch you guys all up, um, after I took a tour of that property, maybe the next week or so, I actually took like a sabbatical, mom vacation, mom staycation, whatever you want to call it. I actually checked into a hotel for what, three days, two nights. Um, and basically it was just to get away, to clear my head, to meditate a little as well as to map out my 2022 school year. And while I was on that sabbatical, I actually wrote the proposal for both of these places and um, I was able to send one out um, prior to the Christmas holiday and then I actually sent the other one out this week. Matter of fact, the church, their deacon board met on Monday. Today is what, Wednesday. 
they met on um, Monday. And so it was an action item. I was really lucky. I'm so glad I ended up calling, checking in with her. But it was an action item. And unofficially, um, I've been told that the church is definitely open. There are some other things that they are going to request of me before, you know, we can start finalizing things. So um, I also hear, though, that there was a homeschool group that's also interested in that church. So um, the other thing is the, that building that you just toured in this video, um, she told me uh, she wanted to meet tomorrow via Zoom. So um, hopefully we are still on and that happens. But so I have counted two things on a table at once. And it honestly, it just boils down to the price. Um, one does not meet my needs as much as the other, but we could make it work just based on um, what the conditions of the contract will be. So I'm really excited just because the ball seems to be moving, um, that people seem to be really open. Um, and so I'm just kind of a little bit nervous. I um, not necessarily about the property. I definitely want to square that away and get that already finalized so that I can say we're going to be here. But um, that's not the biggest problem. I'm, I've also been like really trying to ramp up my marketing. And that is the thing that has kind of really kicked me in my butt. And I actually uh, hired or did this look special with a Facebook ad. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, really is going to be a money pit. Another friend referred me to someone who is like a Facebook ad specialist. And so I think I'm going to be working with her. So that's the part that I'm kind of more so nervous on. One, I mean, it's a good penny, um, particularly when you're not working with a whole, whole bunch of money. But I would tell anybody, marketing is the most important and the most expensive. And if you are in the position where you are thinking about starting a school or daycare or tutoring business, uh, start now with marketing. And you don't have to really start out by saying, um, hey, I'm offering this service, but it's just establishing yourself in that particular field as the expert, okay? And getting a presence where people in your community where you will eventually target will kind of know you for that thing. So even if you are three years or four years down the road to actually starting whatever it is that you want to start, like, I'm telling you, start now. Um, so anyway, um, hopefully we can go ahead on and get some of those campaigns started. I really would like them rolling by next week, to be real honest. And that is really going to be aggressive. I know it is. But um, man, I have to get some boots on the ground. <laughs> um, and if you haven't, go back and watch some of those other vlogs. I'm actually moving from one county to another county. And so that's one why I'm looking for a new home. Um, that's why I have to kind of do a more aggressive marketing program because no one knows me. No one knows about Cindy Lumpkin in this county. No one knows about Triumph. And um, there's some other things that I have been uh, mulling over about the, um, about the, I guess, the future um, of the organization and some of the things that I want to get done. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm not at liberty to really share right now, but I will be sharing. And if you are not a part of the Facebook group, remember it is teachers interested in starting a school and no worries if you're a parent or if you're not a certified teacher, if you're interested in starting a school, go join our group, um, ask questions, engage uh, myself as well as some other school founders um, are running that group and our heartbeat is to really be able to somewhat support because I keep telling people we're still building too. But I feel like um, this is the next wave of education. Like you're going to see a lot more teachers, independent teachers, even parents who are fed up and with their child's needs not being met, going and taking things in their own hands, whether it's establishing home schools, micro schools, or accredited independent schools like mine, um, and then teachers like you know, in some instances, like teachers really should be able to have the liberty to teach without all the stress. I think 
Although I feel like I do carry stress, it's from that of running a business. But the teacher side of it is like, wow, man, I get to go in and do what I know to do as a teacher. I get to be who I am, which sometimes is weird, loud, and crazy. And I still don't have to worry about someone said, oh, you're screaming and yelling. Or, you know, like matter of fact, I was just looking at some old video that I am going to put together and um, put out in honor of, I guess, Black History Month or to give you guys some ideas. But um, right before COVID, we, our Black History program was, uh, we kind of like embodied the, um, what is it, that Renaissance era, era where you had all the artists and um, so forth. And so we kind of had like a club scene and we had our sparkling grape juice <laughs> at a bar and we dressed up in like the roaring 20s and we put on a show. We was lip singing, and dancing and that type of stuff like I, I didn't necessarily just feel always at liberty to do or support it to do. And in my environment, we do some of everything that it is so not traditional school. Man, we had such a good time. So anyway, anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited about what this new year holds. And um, if you are a parent in the Georgia area, Cobb County, Atlanta area, and you are interested in your child attending my school, at least talking to me more about it. Let me go ahead on and put that out there. Um, I am going to be a lot more vocal. I realize now that I have been kind of quiet about my school and I've been in business for eight years. And I think sometimes I just did not realize what I had. You know, it was almost like, just Pollyannish, you get up and you do what you love. But now I realize how big of a deal it is. I realize how many teachers really would love to create the space to really teach the way that um, they feel their children or their students need it. And um, I'm realizing that now. And my George, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Have a great one.